Oh, I love you. Can we get another parent fight? I think this is incredible, Queen. And you know, I walked in and I said, girl, you're wearing your face on your motherfucking ear. And she goes, it's marketing, bitch. And that's why I wore me, 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 and me on this t-shirt. Just hairy man with dreadlocks. Just right down the front with their balls out, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's fun. I'm looking for these shorts. Look at this little oh, front. It's actually it's a skirt, too. It goes all the way down. Excuse me. <laughs> and then it's a squirt. We've both got our cute little vaginas on. It, so it gives a nice vagine. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible, though. You're colorful, wonderful in every way. Yeah, I thought you were going to kick off my head. That's as high as I can I couldn't go. find you. How many people want to see you do a backflip right now? Go. One thing to say. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. Oh my God! Thank you so much for bringing me here. <laughs> this city is incredible, and you know how many people I insulted by saying, "Oh my God, I can't wait to go to Melbourne." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> "It's Melbourne." Melbourne. See, it's right. Melbourne. I tried to make fun of it, but it's actually right. it's actually Melbourne. <laughs> I love it. You guys are incredible. Thank you for inviting me here. My name is Thornton. We're not really that quick. I think we've got time for one more season eight story. lucky on this season. I was part of, I showed up and I was like, I've been doing this a long time. I have a lot of tricks up my sleeve, but I'm a fun, I really love drag. Drag is the, the most fun thing to do in the world. It really is for me. And you know, we don't always look so polished, but we have a fucking blast doing it. It's a great career. That's it's exactly about entertainment, right. you know, yeah. and you guys know I'm a professional violinist, fearless cellist. Yeah. If you don't, I did that for 12 years. I, more than 12 years, I own my own string company and I used to play, and I'm now doing uh, the Christmas Queen store in yeah. the US on violin. The orchestra just got a great investor, so I'm going to be doing a full orchestra. Yeah! Hopefully. Yeah! It's tough to come to Australia, but I want to fucking come back over the yeah! orchestra. Yeah! Would you guys buy a ticket to that bullshit? Yeah! 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 You gotta support it, right? You gotta pay. You just like, just come out. It's gonna be so good, right? I can't wait. Can it's I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a yeah. secret? Nobody's listening, okay? So I'm hoping that maybe for, oh, are you excited about season nine? I know too much about season nine. Oh, the top yeah. three winners are. No. <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna ask Rue, and I, I wanna conduct the orchestra for the like finale of season nine. Oh, yeah. isn't that like something? Yeah. So it's maybe it's in the works. Maybe it's not. As if they would say no. It, it's not every day you meet a classically trained musician oh, who's like, who's like, fallback is drag, and then who's fucking incredible at both. Thank you very much. So I really appreciate that. Back to Derek Berry. <laughs> So go back around, girl. Okay, you know, this is gonna be a positive story about Derek. But do we have any Derek fans in the audience? And Britney Spears fans, yes? All right, Derek Berry fans. By the way, she really is a joy and a pleasure. I, I, I'm very good at getting to know people the more we hang out. I'm like, Bob, you're a fucking asshole. All right. But she's wonderful and everybody. But Derek is wonderful as well. She's just really guarded. She's a very guarded, like, emotional, you know, she's really like, dainty, like, as a person. So I, I like, well, I don't really come for her. And Bob was like, fuck you, motherfucking Derek. Fuck. And he was just like, well, I'm gonna defend myself. And then he looked like a villain. I'm like, oh, he's just, Bob, just cut it out. Leave her a fucking alone. But anyway, so Derek, this is a good story. Ready for this? So we did a season eight tour. Afterwards, we did a question and answer panel. We all sat in these seats, right? Oh, there's another story to tell, but that's another time. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little ADD all the time, so you gotta bring me in, okay? There it is, that's fine. So Derek Barry gets a question, and it's always from somebody in the audience. And Ginger Minj, we friends with Ginger Minj, right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Ginger Minj was hosting the show, and she read all the questions, and she goes, this next question is for Derek Barry. Why were you so horrible and basic every episode on season eight? <laughs> and the whole audience was like, oh shit. And Derek goes, I was right next to her. She goes, who asked that question? <laughs> Now, if you asked that question, would you raise your hand? <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You would? Fuck you. Let's have a shot after the show, bitch. What's your name? What was the, what was the most nasty question you could ask me? You don't even know who I am. Naomi Smalls, bitch. Legs, legs, no. 
nothing on the menu. Oh, no. I love you. Oh, what a good chick. Fuck you. Bring your shot whiskey. Derek Bear. Okay. I told you I could talk to her already. Derek Bear. All right, so she gets a question. Do you know who asked that question? The motherfucker in the front row who paid like $250 for the ticket, right? Me. And we were all like, oh shit, this is gonna be good. Derek goes, <laughs> Derek goes, what the fuck do you do with your life? And he goes, I'm a student. She goes, what are you studying? And he's like, I don't know. And she goes, exactly. And she stands up. It was so good. We were all like, oh, this is good. And she stood up and she was like, you will exactly be nothing in your motherfucking Whoa. life. Whoa. And she moved in like this. And we were all like, I was next to Naomi. I was grabbing her skinny bones. I was like, yeah. She was like, you will never amount to anything because you are ugly in this lighting. You're ugly every day of your life. You're never gonna graduate school. Your parents should have been born at you. My bank account is cute being basic every episode of season eight, so fuck you. This is Derek Barry. And by the way, anything you hear about Derek Barry, do you like her a little more now? I mean, she really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all like, Derek, why were you not like that on the show? <laughs> but anyway, give it up for Derek Barry. She's wonderful. I'm also sweating my fucking ass off. It's Derek. I don't care. Now, zoom in, get this for credit. I'm sweating my eyebrows off. Give it a second. Yeah, we actually did it. Give it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Layla. She's always so sweet. All right, so let's continue because I think I've been talking to you. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. We've got show. a girlfriend we need to bring back on. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you. Keep waiting, hey? Let's